G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 9 of our player career mode here in Dylan on the Ball. Today we are taking on Leverkusen, it is a first versus second matchup in the Bundesliga. A game where we can all but secure the Bundesliga title. Before we get cracking, get right into it, I'll just remind you guys to please leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here if you want to see where Chaz's career goes. I mean, this is second last video of the season so we'll have decisions to make beyond this uh next video i guess whether it's requesting transfer time or sticking around or whatever i don't know we'll see subscribe if you want to stick around for it though comment what you reckon we should do and uh now we're through that let's get cracking i've got you on the stats screen this time around i mean we've sort of gone between showing his attributes and his stats here so this time you get the stats, you get an idea of why, as you see in the thumbnail, he got to make his international debut, coming on as a sub for Kevin De Bruyne, I think it was in like the 80th minute or something we came on, so, you know, not the most exciting of videos that would have made, I mean, I'm, I'm, like, it sucks that it happened not on camera, but, like, at the same time, it's, like, it would have been a very short video had I have just shown you those 10 minutes. The only other thing you can, I guess, glean from looking at this stats page is, oh my god, we're missing Danielle Marlin. Danielle Marlin was ahead of me in the goal scoring. Like, I, it is ridiculous that I've got as many goals in a I get that. It's, it's silly. I get it. But Danielle Marlin was ahead of me in the goal scoring. Like, we miss him so much. We need another pacey striker ahead of me because Sebastian Haller, as you see, just not quite cutting it, is he? Not doing the job. Anyway, that's enough of that. We've got about four minutes worth of highlights to get you through. Starting off with an absolutely spectacular hat trick against Stuttgart. So the first of our three goals here against Stuttgart comes from range, one touch, gets it out of the feet, top bloody bins. Absolutely sensational finish this one. Just found that, you know, that little pocket of space had enough room ahead of us to take a touch out in front, fire away, pass the keeper, no chance there at all. Then just not even like five minutes later from about the same spot on the pitch, driving forward through midfield, Chaz has the room after he just glides past that one defender, has a pop from, you know, 25 yards out, why not? Keeper, no chance yet again. That is his second goal. And then for a, to complete a hat trick and Yep, as you can see in the top corner, we lost 4-3. Um, so the most spectacular of spectacular hat tricks, the third being from sort of the corner of the box, nice curly effort beyond the keeper. Uh, but it was all for nothing because we lost. So then came our international debut. As you see here, as you saw in the thumbnail, I guess, we came on as a substitute for Kevin De Bruyne. Then in the 90th minute at nil all, we take a corner, we get an assist. We get an assist for Romelu Lukaku. It is 1-0, you can't really tell what's happening there, but it is Chaz Gerhard taking the corner. Swing it in, Lukaku gets on the end of it. Puts us up 1-0, that's the only highlight of the game. Then we headed off to Hertha Berlin where we get two assists in this game. First one, a nice little layoff there for Gio Reyna. Not too complicated, but what we did was create a nice little overlap there. Draw in the defender and then lay it on a plate for Gio Reyna. Nice weight on the pass, I guess, for him to be able to just walk onto it and put his foot through it. Grab himself a goal. He then grabbed himself... No, I grabbed myself. A second assist here. This time it is for Danny Olmo. His first goal for the club. Just a nice little run around the outside. Space opened up for Danny Olmo to get on the end of a nice little cross from Chaz. Then we were against Hoffenheim where we get a nice goal here. We ran around the outside of Jude Bellingham, who again, similar to, I guess, our uh, assist there for Gio Reyna in that last game, but just lays it on a plate right in line for our run. Don't have to take a touch, don't have to do much. Just run onto it, smack the crap out of it. And it goes in just about top corner. We then get a nice little assist returning the favour for Jude Bellingham. I'm not really sure what happened between him and the defender there, but... Look, I saw the run he was making, dink a little ball over the top. Between him and the defender, they get a bit confused, and then on the half volley, he <laughs> smashes it below the keeper. Nice little goal and assist for Chaz Gerhard. Next up, it was Wolfsburg, and I, look, it's a beautiful finish yet again. I mean, this one is... Uh, I think the keeper ends up getting a touch on this one, but this was yet another game where, where it seems like we just... We just can't defend. We cannot defend a single sausage. There's Thomas Mounier, you <laughs> who he sold to Wolfsburg for some reason and uh, replaced him with Malagusto, but we had a nice little assist, a uh, goal there, then we get, do we get an assist? 
No, we lose. We lose 3-2 to Wolfsburg. We dink a nice little crossover for Sebastian Haller. Exactly what he wants to be doing. Except he need like just puts it wide. He's useless. I bring back Daniel Marlin. Then most recently in the DFB Pokal semi-final, we took on Leipzig where Chaz Gerhard gets himself a goal. Just on an absolute tear recently in the goal scoring department. This time it's just a uh, sort of marauding run through midfield. Gets beyond the last man, fires it across the keeper. That was the equaliser, making it one all. Then a nice pass out in front of Julian Brandt, who cuts it back. For guess who? Is Danny Olmo against RB Leipzig, putting us up 2 1 or 3 1 at that point? I can't actually remember. Either way, it, uh, we got put through to the DFB Pokal final. That'll be next video. We will be up against Frankfurt in that final, as you see on your screen here. So the next video will be the final of the DFP Pokal. Hopefully we can put in a good performance in the final, bring back another trophy after hopefully winning a league title. In a league where we are five points ahead of Leverkusen with four games to play. If we beat them today, that puts us up by what? Eight points with three games to play. So look, uh, it'd take an absolute disaster to lose it from here, uh, assuming we can actually get one over them today. It will be an ask. They have been, you know, fairly good. They haven't been an easy beat and they've got some very good attacking players that our very leaky defense may not be able to handle. As you can see there, like on your screen, where the worst defense that you can see on the screen there. We're worse than our, uh, Augsburg. We're only, we've only conceded one more than Wolfsburg. Man, this is nuts. How terrible we are defensively. Anyway, defensively is that, defense is the issue. Goal scoring, as you can see, not an issue whatsoever. And it's uh, mainly down to Chads, really, who's contributed about, I don't know, half of them between goals and assists. Anyway, let's head through to the Signal Iduna Park. So here we go then. It is top of the table clash time between Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen. Before we get absolutely cracking into this one, guys, I'll just remind you to please leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Comment what you think of the video, what you think we should do from here with Chaz, all that sort of stuff. And uh, hopefully as we look at the players here, firstly, hopefully we don't get stuck on anyone again. Um, but hopefully we can put on a display. Hopefully, I mean, if I could emulate that Stuttgart game from the highlights. I'd have to do very well to beat Emmy Martinez because he's an absolute god on FIFA. But I just I just want you guys to see how brilliant it can be, you know? Anyway, let's get cracking. Alright, underway here. We are off and running. They are playing like a 3-4-3 three, three sort of formation. It's very weird, like uh, as you can see on your sort of the way that they're lining up here. They've got Domenico Berardi uh, as the right winger, but then in right mid of the like midfield three, a four rather, it is Musa Diaby. So they've got a very attacking lineup, uh, which we may struggle to contain. But then, oh, I was about to say, going forward, it is going to be absolutely simple because we're going to be like four on three a lot of the time, including this time around where Sebastian Haller fills his boots, finally gets himself a nice little goal. Maybe today is the day that he finally starts to maybe get near the level of Daniel Marlin. Not much to it, we just found an uh, acre of space in the box, managed to stick on side. I was sort of using uh, whoever was deepest there, I think it might have been one of their centre backs dragged out. But then we whipped the ball across, I was actually looking for Octavio it was, but <laughs> thankfully it goes behind him, but thankfully Hala is there to mop up and, uh, and put us up 1-0. Four minutes in, what a start that is. 1-0 up already. I feel like I hadn't even, like, set up the scene, you know? It is a very weird lineup from them. It, like, it doesn't feel like there's any, I don't know, solidity, any any chance of them being good defensively. They've given the ball away there again. And look, now we're on to three at the back. Oh, that's a good tackle. Oh, that was a great tackle. I was about to put this fella through, or at least try. Bellingham onto Octavio, who's into the box already. It's 2-0. It's eight minutes in, it is 2-0. I mean, I was shocking in the build-up of that. I, I definitely ruined the momentum, but it did not matter one bit. We got the ball back a couple of passes later. Octavio is through, and it is 2-0, about nine minutes in. Like, all I did was a simple pass three metres forward to Jude Bellingham. He got the assist. I mean, I'll take the sort of secondary assist. You know, like... I feel like that was something David Silva was very good at. Like, the secondary is the ball to the person who got the assist, you know? I mean, maybe I got some some inspiration from him. 
No, nah, that's not true at all. Uh, I mean, I love David Silver. Do not get me wrong. David Silver is my absolute hero. But that's not what this is about. Anyway, already 2-0. And I think we may be in for more. Jude Bellingham definitely took that the wrong way. Octavio now. Oh, good ball down the side for Gusto from Chaz. Gusto, it's in again. Oh, you're kidding. It is 3-0 already. That is another one. We, it's 13 minutes in. Sebastian Haller has grabbed his second goal. We're up 3-0. And just as soon as we get past any... Like, get past their midfield, which is basically where I live... So when, whenever it's me facing their back three, they've got nothing. We're, we're through. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just one ball around the back of Jonathan Tarr there for Gusto. Fires in across. And somehow between Martinez and, and uh, Stefan de Vrij it is in the middle of their back three, Haller manages to just squeeze it sort of through both of their legs. The ball <laughs> trickles home. And they... Uh, I don't even have words. It's already... It's already 3-0. This is crazy. Oh, my days. Alrighty. Where do we go from there? Is it just going to keep happening like that? Because that would be absolute. This is going to be a long video because there's just going to be so many highlights. Hopefully, we get one soon. Although, as much as we are going to have too many forward for them, if they get, like, their midfield forward, we're, we're going to struggle to contain them. Here's Haller getting through. Oh, ball on there for, oh, for Otavio I was looking, but it finds Gusto instead, who can't find anyone in this first one, but can he find Haller? Not on this occasion. I think that was probably my bad. Maybe I should have shot, I don't know. I, I, I was trying to lay it on for Otavio, overhit it just a bit. It went out to Gusto. Didn't ruin things though, I mean, we still had a chance at it. Anyway, this is the sort of thing I mean, where Diaby can get forward, he's found Berardi, back to Demiabai blocked. Well, I mean, having that extra defender has made the difference there. Corner for Bay Leverkusen. They're going to take this one short. It is Domenico Berardi laying it back for Incapier. Back for Demibai. Oh, and it's a goal. I definitely, um, Chaz, Chaz tried to tackle him and tripped himself somehow. It is 3-1? Is it 4-3-1? Oh, that's way too close to Demibai's face. I did not enjoy that. Demi gets the ball back from Hincapié. Uh, you can see Chaz on his face there. I tried to tackle him and have fallen over myself. That was um, a tad embarrassing. So we will uh, like struggle when they do get the ball forward, as we do against most teams, really. But it's just defensively that like there's no way that they can cope with us. Oh, like this. Like Sebastian Haller, who the entire opening of the video I was trashing telling everyone how absolutely garbage he is and how much I miss Daniel Marlin. Sebastian Haller scored a hat-trick in 25 minutes. It, this is ridiculous. Can we have some non-goal minutes for a bit? Jeebus. I mean, I'll call that a good dummy from Gerhard there. After the ball across from, I'm guessing it's Thorgan Hazard out on the wing? Can't actually remember. But it falls to Sebastian Haller, who's absolutely free about 10 yards out absolutely laces one in he's got himself a nice little 25 minute hat trick and it's 4-1 in a top of the table clash after 25 minutes the Bundesliga is mental honestly you've been keeping track of the scores over the last like two weeks they have been absolutely mad oh Chaz needs to learn how to tackle honestly I mean I know that's my fault completely but he needs to learn how to tackle there's a good ball there from Andrich over the top for Berardi Berardi across to Demirbay or oh, looks to put, I can't remember who their left winger is now. Looks to put him through though. Cannot find him. And Bellingham gives it away. Good bit of pressure here. Building for Leverkusen. Demi by now. Still Demi by. What can he do? What can he do? He puts it out to Hudson Adoy. It is on the left. Back to Demi by in the box. Across. It's four. This is stupid. This is stupid now. This is stupid. It's uh, as Moon, I think it is, with the goal. Gets on the end of the cut. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful ball from Demibai, who seems like their best weapon. But bloody hell, can we just not have a goal for another, like, three minutes? Just till half time. Let's just sit out to... Goodness me, it's a tap-in from about three yards out. I mean, it, again, 
we cannot defend a, a thing. A traffic cone would probably probably score against us, you know? But bloody hell, it's 4-2 after 33 minutes. Can we just stop? Let's just go now to half time without a goal. Oh my goodness, Sewell gives it away to whoever that is. Thankfully, we, uh, we don't concede this time. Octavio finds Haller. Haller looking through for Gusto. Gusto getting forward well this game. It's good to see. Now Octavio... Oh, I tried to just nip between that. They've given it straight away. Bloody hell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> good save this time. Fro... What? Okay. They're going with... He's not injured. They're just making a change 36 minute in. That's... That's weird, and they're bringing on Bellarabi, which is great news for us. Corner for Gerhard to take. Swing that one in towards Hummels, maybe. Saved and collected by Emmy Martinez. My goodness, this has been ridiculous. Like, I know I was saying that they will be easy to break down, but this is, this is not what I was expecting. Could Tottenham not have been this easy? Like, why could we not do any of this against Tottenham? Bloody hell. Ridiculous. Oh, and Haller is through again from range. Oh, Okay, surely there Haller could have done better. Daniel Marlon would have scored. Cleared then by Stefan de Vrij. See, I mean, Haller might have a hat trick, but Daniel Marlon would have scored six, you know? Here is Bellingham back to Haller though. All right, Sebastian Haller might end up with six. It is 5-2-51. Should I release this video? Should I start again and try not to score? Because this, this is stupid. It is that seven goals in 40 minutes. The the runs forward there from all three <laughs> all three people. I think it was Raum, Gerhard, and Bellingham did leave a lot of space for Haller. So I, I'll say it was unselfish run making. Um, but really, I I just want to get on the score sheet myself now because this is stupid. Why can't, why is everyone else scoring but not me? Haller has got bloody four goals. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. All right, surely no more goals before half time now. We've got about two minutes to go, and I just want to see some solid defending from both sides. That would be absolutely beautiful. Bellarabi, trying to make me eat those words. He's going at Gusto. Lays it back for Hudson Adoy. Back to <laughs> buddy Bellarabi. Oh my god. Hudson Adoy now. I decide to come back to defend because clearly we need assistance. Bellarabi, oh god. Oh, Andrić loses it. Yay! Oh, clear that. Half time. Yes! Yes! About five minutes without a goal. Beautiful stuff. Crazy. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. Sorry about this, guys. This is stupid. All right, here we go. Second half. I, uh, I am reeling. It's also a thousand degrees in Brisbane. I, I said this in the last video. The um, the last severe video it would have been. That it's just been insanely hot the last few days. It is right now. It's 33 degrees. Uh, I'm sitting in a room with a fan on the lowest setting. Here's another goal coming, isn't it? Demi Bai has the ball in box. Back to Diaby. Diaby dribbles past everyone. See, look how defensive I'm being because I'm just sick of goals. This is stupid. Um, yeah, I'm sitting in a room with the fan on the lowest setting with the window closed. Um, this might be a fever dream. Like, I don't know. Well, I've just glided past Jonathan Tarr there. We'll try to set up Sebastian Haller. He just didn't want me to get the assist, did he? What was that? Did you guys see that in the top left corner? Was that real? I'm sure it said... What? What the hell is happening with this team? Jao Felix has now come on. I'm sure it said Real Madrid and then undefined player got moved there. Anyway. Corner. Cleared well. They'll head it back out to Gerhard. Swinging across. Great second cross. Just no one anywhere near. Like a, It was a great area for the ball to be put into, but no one anywhere near it. Look to return to position. What do you mean, mate? What position am I to return to if this isn't it? This is stupid. Anyway, <laughs> the whole video is just me saying, this is stupid. Oh, here's Asmoon. Yeah. Oh, boy. It is 5-3. If this... If we don't end up winning this, I'm going to lose my absolute mind. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to ask for a transfer after this. If we don't win this game, I'm going to request a transfer. 
Felix gets an assist after about 12 seconds on the pitch, plays through Asmoon, who fires it across the keeper, who can't save anything. He couldn't catch a cold. Ridiculous. It's 5-3. Alright, what is happening? Why is this like this? Like, no other game this season has goal scoring been this easy for both sides. This is stupid. Hudson Ajoy chasing us down. But then... Oh, I'm just stewing now. Asmoon running away with it, tries to play in whoever's on the right now. Oh, Barati, that's who it is. Doesn't quite work, but then Barati finds Asmoon, and look how in he is. Bloody hell, can we stop them? Bloody hell. Oh, we've gone past Tar like he isn't there again. <laughs> this is stupid. Can we find Haller again? No, not this time. But then why is Jonathan Tart on that? Oh, okay. Well, I tried to just like bring the ball down. Uh, it didn't work. Jonathan Tar though is just sprinting across the box. What are you doing? Why did you do that? Oh my god. This video game can be so fun and so brilliant. And then there's also games like this, <laughs> which is just where it's just it's just stupid. This is the same difficulty as Tottenham. Haven't changed a setting, haven't changed anything. But it's 5-3. And it's just been ridiculous. Good ball for Octavio, who plays Gusto. Gusto to Dahoud. Dahoud to Gerhard. To Halla. Saved by Martinez. Look, we're creating opportunities still. Just not quite as clear as the first half, perhaps. Which maybe is a good thing. I mean, it's, it's, we've, there's only been one goal in the second half, and it's been... What's that? 25 minutes now? Is that how that works? Is that how time works? I don't know. Good ball there. On for Octavio. Can he get there? No, he doesn't. He does win the ball, though. Oh, damn it. Jonathan Tarr has my number now. He's blocked that, too. I mean, probably because I smacked it straight at him, but he's blocked that, too. Jao Felix now coming away with it. Gives it to Berardi. Berardi forward again for Felix. Back. Okay. Again, we're being stupid, boys. Hudson Adoy now on the ball. Plays in Asmoon. No. Intercepted well by, I think that would have been Nicholas Sewell. We'll play it out there to Octavio. Back to Gusto for Dahoud. Forward to Haller. Scores. There is a nice assist. It is Haller's fifth goal. A match where I was absolutely roasting the fella. Poor guy. He's had cancer too. Bloody hell. How rude am I? I've just been an absolute menace with this fella. And, and he's gone ahead and scored five goals in a top-of-the-table clash. Ridiculous. Look at how much room I have. And no... Like, what marking was it? Where is Jonathan Tarr going? He's off to the corner flag to mark no one. And Ahala has a free go to place it beyond Emmy Martin. How many transfers have they done? They've s clearly sold Patrick Schick, right? Unless he's hiding on the bench too, but... My goodness... We've got Emmy Martinez they've brought in. They've brought in Stefan de Vry. They've brought in Jao Felix somehow. Domenico Berardi's come in. Who else is hiding? Stupid. All right, we're all, just about 80 minutes in now. Surely now with three goal lead and 10 minutes to go. Surely, surely we won't screw this up, right? It has been an absolute ridiculous game. One where uh, I feel like it may not be real. Here's Asmoon playing a great ball for Bellarabi, who's in. Big save this time, but the second chance is won by goddamn Jao Felix. And it is 6-4. Oh my god. Do you remember the Tottenham game? Do you guys remember the two Tottenham games? Where I was just going absolutely mad because we couldn't create anything. And I think it was, what was it, 2-1 to them and then maybe 3-2 on the second time? <sighs> Bring back the 2-1. Oh my god, sorry. I just battered the microphone. I, my head it. Uh, I don't even have words anymore. This is stupid. This is just stupid. Zinedine is going mad in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. One of our dogs, Zinedine, this time going absolutely mental. Nicholas Sewell into Jude Bellingham. Back to Gerhard, who gets a nice ball out wide. Why? Why? Why did he play that pass? Here, I'll, I'll lob it back to Hummels under pressure. There we go. Good win, Gerhard. There we go, son. Probably still here, Zinedine. Our do 
What is that? Robert Andrich, you absolute menace. That was disgusting. How rude. Prick, not even a card. All right, mate. All right, free kick here. I was going to say if we get to take it, I was shooting, but we don't. We take corners, but not free kicks. It's stupid. Oh, I definitely impacted the goalkeeper there. That was good. Oh, Otavio injury, it said. I wonder how bad his injury was. Oh, not very, because he's on. He's still on the pitch. They've just brought on Fro Florian Wirtz. I can't say his damn name. Um, but he's come on to, like, this is a stacked Leverkusen side. No wonder they're second. I mean, they probably need to defend more, but, you know, no wonder they're second. I'm just now mad that I didn't score. Like, it's, we're, it's about to finish. I haven't scored. I'm not going to. This is absolutely mad. It's, it's going to be full time in two seconds. Octavio. Oh, I am in the box. I'll shoot that. Why not? Straight at the keeper. All right. Is <laughs> Look how mad I look. What the... F anyway, <laughs> it's a 6-4 win. That was the most ridiculous 90 minutes of the season. And I don't... I don't know how to explain a single part of it. Hopefully both of our assists are in these highlights. But firstly, we do have one of them at least. A good little chop across for Haller, who absolutely rifles a volley in. Um, we actually ended up <laughs> having the same rating as Sebastian Haller. Despite only having two assists, and he scored five goals, we both had 8.6 ratings. Crazy. And here is our other assist, good ball forward from Dahoud in transition. that We'd take one touch, then lay it on a plate for Sebastian Haller to get... Yep, that's right, number five. Number five, goal number five for Sebastian Haller. Our absolute superstar striker, who is possibly the best striker on the planet. Alright, so that was absolutely ridiculous. We are, as you see, ahead by eight points with three games to play. We've got, as you see on the right-hand side, FC Cologne up next. We've then got Augsburg, and then we finish up with Werder Bremen. So, I mean, what do we need? Three points? I mean, one, we win one of those games, we win the league. So, uh, look, I'm going to go ahead and say that we might just do it, considering we've got uh, 14th, 12th, and 10th are our three opponents remaining so have just have a feeling just have a gut feeling that we might just go ahead and win the league the last video of the season will of course be this game here against frankfurt in the dfb pokal the german cup final we've got three games before then as i just said like two seconds ago it's fc cologne augsburg then Werder bremen we've then got the final against Frankfurt. That will wrap up today's video though guys. Thank you very very much for watching. Make sure you do leave us a like, a comment down below, all that sort of stuff. Subscribe if you are new around here. If you're enjoying the series, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you do subscribe. And until next time, when we go again in the German Cup final, hopefully win a German League and Cup double. Why not? Peace.